How you doing? Uh, before I start, I just want to say our testimony for the New York City Veterans Alliance is a little short uh, for this hearing. It's because we've been having great uh, communications back and forth with DVS and addressing some of our questions internally and been very satisfied with, um, with the answers. And you know, shout out to Eric and Alexis and the commissioner for the foresight. And uh, so explanation why the short testimony. That being said, let the clock uh, begin. Uh, good afternoon and thank you, uh, Chair Deutsch and the committee members that were here previously uh, for the opportunity to testify today. My name is Corey Ortega. I'm the Director of Civic and Government Affairs for the New York City Veterans Alliance, a member-driven grassroots policy advocacy and community building organization that advances veterans and families as civic leaders. I'm presenting testimony on behalf of our members who are active stakeholders uh, in our advocacy. The New York City Veterans Alliance was a key advocacy uh, voice in the creation of the Department of Veterans Services, DVS, as an independent agency, and we have been the premier community voice advocating to grow DVS's budget uh, to the current 4.5 million allotted for FY19. Our membership strongly supports our continued work to set high expectations for the role of DVS in New York City and beyond. And there's much to be optimistic about DVS uh, as DVS continues to build a staff of impressive professionals, as I mentioned before, to continue its, its impact, impactful work like the tracking and coordination of care and permanent housing for homeless veterans, which we was discussed previously. Uh, but there's much more work still to be done. We make, therefore, uh, we make therefore the following recommendations for DVS's uh, uh, FY19 budget. Number one, DVS must have an agency chief contracting officer, ACO. Uh, as we have in previous testimonies before the Veteran Committee, we strongly urge the council to allocate funding in DVS's budget for the dedicated ACO with expertise in the city's contracting and procurement processes. Uh, the delays have taken place over the last couple of years and bringing VetConnect under DVS management would likely have been mitigated with in-house contracting. So I'm, I'm gonna veer off a little bit. So I do agree with, with the commissioner it's, it's a growing agency and it's coming about. Our advocacy to support the commissioner, I would say yes to, while you're building the structure, while you're building this foundation for DVS to include ACO, because there are a lot of elements, a lot of procurement policies and procedures that you have to have set in place. So as the, as the agency grows over time and their budget and the responsibilities to the 220,000 veterans, it's good to place it early on to build on that foundation and have a strong foundation moving forward. So th those are more conversations I'll, that I'll have with the commission and their staff, but I just wanted to give a little background uh, explanation on that. Uh, number two, DVS should oversee discretionary uh, funds for veteran services. We also, uh, again, strongly advocate for the discretionary funds awarded to, by New York City Council members to community organizations serving veterans and families to be managed by DVS, ACO. Uh, number three, veteran employment pay for success program should, should have a robust metrics for success, including an independent oversight. Uh, the 125,000 projected for the FY19 budget for the VA orchestrated veterans employment pay for success program proposes a social investment pilot, uh, yeah, a social impact investment pilot for New York City with payment by New York City for employment outcomes for veterans with P PTSD. This is an interesting new model for serving veterans that we believe should be explored. We're supporting this. Uh, but we urge that this committee ensure the robust metrics. Some of the questions that we're still having uh, dialogues back and forth with DVS is how those metrics are formulated, how they determine uh, by this uh, third party entity, WeStat. And we'll continue having the conversation, but uh, yeah, basically, we'll continue having the conversation with DVS and learn more uh, as we go along. Uh, lastly, uh, DVS should continue refining its reporting metrics for success. We're very, very pleased that their CRM system is online. You heard a lot of the metrics uh, when Commissioner had previously testified, and those metrics are only gonna get stronger, better, and clearer, and gives us all, both City Council and the advocates here at the table, how to address the needs if we have clear and concise metrics. With that, I end my testimony, and welcome any questions or ideas. Thank you, Corey, and you know, I, felt, I feel like I know you for like years. I see you all over the place. I only know you for three months, uh, two months. Um, so, Corey, thank you, and thank you for supporting our commissioner and DVS. Um,